it's almost hunting season and I already got myself some deer, some elk, and some beef. Because today we're trying the big game burger from Arby's. Howdy fellow foodie friends, who's your daddy here? Thanks for joining me. Now before we get started, if you like food reviews and snack tasting videos and food challenges, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun. That way you can be part of the Who's Your Daddy family. So Arby's has come out with this big game burger. It's a mix of elk, venison, and beef. So I love meat and I love Arby's because they have the meat. <laughs> <laughs> and in this case, it's really true because I don't know of any other fast food restaurant that is offering elk or venison. But it's not necessarily new for Arby's because in the past they have served venison before and they've also served duck breast. I didn't get a chance to try those when they came out, but when I heard about this big game burger, I knew I had to give it a shot because it just sounds amazing. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look. <laughs> all right, first impression is not all that great because this is an expensive burger and it doesn't feel that girthy. I don't know what girth means. There's not a lot of weight to that. I'd say it's maybe three or four girth units at most. Three girth units. And this burger cost me $11.11. $11 is a lot for a burger that's not that girthy. Now, I know some places it was advertised it was supposed to cost eight or nine dollars but here in my area in indiana it was ten dollars and change but eleven dollars and eleven cents after tax so let's see if it's worth it all right as always i'm gonna let you guys have the first peek big game burger all right here we go bum ba da bum 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 Ta It's a decent looking burger. Now I know Arby's, since they specialize in ground beef, no. Now Arby's, I know since they specialize in ground, no, what am I doing? <laughs> now Arby's, since they specialize in roast beef, hamburgers are not typically their specialty. They make theirs a little different. This is cooked via the sous vide method and then fried at when you order it. So. It smells pretty good. Let's take a closer look at it. The Big Game Burger features a unique blend of venison, elk, and ground beef topped with melty Swiss cheese, crispy onions, sweet garlic and dill pickles, and a dark cherry steak sauce served on a toasted brioche bun. The patty itself is made with 34% venison, 33% elk, and 33% ground beef. All right, that sounds good. And I'm getting hungry, so here we go. Let's give this a taste. The Big Game Burger from Arby's. Cheers. Hmm. Well, first bite was rather pleasant. I like that a lot. You can see that is a thick burger. I'm not sure how big the patty is, but it is very meat. Very meat. <laughs> Very meaty. That's what I was going to say. It's very meaty because Arby's has the meat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop on that impression. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, very meaty. The first flavor I actually get, though, is the pickles. The pickles pair really well with the meat. And then you got that cherry sauce and the crispy onions and the Swiss cheese. Oh my gosh, this all just works really well together. And then on a delicious bun, too. This is really good. I like this a lot. And the meat doesn't taste like typical fast food restaurants because, I mean, it's so thick. It's definitely the star of the show. They wanted to feature the big game meats. Now, I've had elk before. I've, I don't think I've ever had a venison burger, but I do like the flavor of venison. Elk tastes a lot like ground beef, it's, except it's a little leaner. But venison does have a gamier flavor. I like it. I like it a lot. It just tastes like really high quality good meat. And then cooked in the sous vide way, it's just like perfectly cooked. And it's got a little bit of a crispy edge from where they fried it. That's, that's, that's good. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Very tasty. So... Definitely not the kind of thing I'm going to get 
on a regular basis just because $11 for a fast food burger, that's a lot. But I think it is definitely worth trying once. I think to give this a rating, I'm going to have to give this a 9.4. Officially endorsed by Hoosier Daddy. Which is surprising coming from a roast beef place, but it is really good. The only drawback is really the price, but that is absolutely delicious. Definitely worth getting. Now, if you get a chance to try this, when you go to Arby's, tell them Hoosier Daddy sent you. <laughs> They'll be like, what are you talking about? Who's your who? <laughs> but after you try it, come back here. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Do you agree with me or disagree with me? Is this really that good? I mean, I think that's that's delicious. Very good. But I'd love to know what you thought of it. So if you haven't tried it, let me know what is your favorite fast food burger because I'm curious how they compare. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Check out the description while you're down there and I will see you again in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.